This episode of Analog Resurgence is brought to you by Skillshare. Stick around after the video to learn more. Oh, wait, wait, here we go, here we go. The light, the light will turn on. Okay, let's take a step back for a minute. Last year I did a video on Polavision, Polaroid's instant Super 8 movie format from the late 1970s. Polavision was Super 8 sized film inside of special cartridges. Just like all classic Polaroid film, these cartridges contained an active chemical that would come into contact with the film on playback and develop it in about 90 seconds for you to watch. Pretty impressive when you think about how it's developing 40 feet of film in the same kind of way that we're used to seeing a regular Polaroid picture being developed. Polavision cartridges went into these special Polavision cameras, which were pretty bare bones for features. You would would shoot your cartridge of Polavision in the camera, which transported the film from one side to the other. After shooting, you needed the Polavision viewer, this large brown box with a screen in it. It's a film projector, but specifically for only taking these Polavision cartridges. When the Polavision film cartridge was put into the slot on top of the viewer, like bread into a toaster, the film was wound back through the cartridge. During this process, the chemical pod in the cartridge is opened, and in about 20 seconds, the film is entirely coated with it. Then everything stops. You wait about a minute for the chemicals to absorb and develop the frames on the film, and then the light in the viewer turns on and through a little prism in the Polavision cartridge, your newly developed movie is projected for your enjoyment. Except that this project took years in development and launched at the end of the 1970s when Super 8 was kind of losing popularity. Home video was coming, and ultimately Polavision at the time that it launched was a failure. The film was in production for roughly 10 years until the end of the 1980s, and that was it. I tried my hand at shooting some heavily expired Polavision film last year uh, with no results. All of this stuff is at least 30 years expired, and the chemicals inside of these cartridges have all dried up. It is very much a dead format. And then in December, I received an email from Thomas in Germany. He had bought two cartridges of Polavision that someone had had in a fridge for the past 34 years, and he showed me this, a working Polavision cartridge. And then he sent me this, a 1982 expired cartridge of Polavision that had been cold stored since the 1980s. If I was ever going to successfully shoot Polavision, then this was it. I was recently home to see my family, decided to just have some fun, and I crossed my fingers. Break the seal. Wait, Whoa, it's eight and, and blind them. <laughs> wave to the camera. <laughs> it's uh, simply an unobtrusive. Kitchen, it's gonna work. <laughs> All right, come on. It's gonna work this time. Yeah. It's and gonna work this three, time. Two. Expired in 82. Is Danny K on it? Okay. Yeah. Right? I think all I have to do is. Okay, and then. Okay. Turn off the, turn off the light. So it's running, it's running, and then it'll stop, and then it'll click, and then it'll play the developed movie. I want to shorten this version. No, it just takes like, it's like a 90 second thing. Wait, wait, here we go. This is it. I have a good feeling, I have a great feeling about this. Oh, wait, wait, here we go, here we go. The light, the 
the light will turn on, I think. Yes. Oh, oh wow. wow. Oh, 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 there's me. Oh, oh, crash. It's working. Yes, the polar vision is a success. <laughs> Danny K, it's a color. Us now. Yep. Wow. Cool. <laughs> Whoa. <laughs> All right, and that was earlier. How many old days? How many? How old is that pot? This is 1982. And there's a little advertisement for the Analog Resurgence T-shirt. Get your merch. This looks incredible. Like. Yeah, good. <laughs> oh wait, the lamp. There's the lamp. When I had the light on. And he's like, I can't see! I'm blinded! <laughs> you had your sunglasses on your head, you should just put them down. I know! <laughs> Ago. <laughs> I've done my best to try and record this Polavision footage off of the viewer, which is a little difficult, but the film worked. I got to shoot Polavision in 2021. The thing with Polavision is that the film always stays in the cartridge. Now I know that the Film Photography Project and quite a few other places offer a service for scanning the stuff, but that would actually involve having to break it open and I could never use it in this big old Polaroid box again. So I plan to keep it intact because really, who knows how many still functioning Polovision cartridges remain in the world. Probably not many at all, and I'd rather have mine exist in its original form where I can pop it into that viewer every so often instead of breaking it open just to have a better scan of it. Now, I also talked about this in my video from last year as well, but it's worth mentioning again that Polovision film is really, really cool technology. In order to create color movies, it uses additive color film. So the film itself is panchromatic black and white film, but it's coated with microscopic strips of alternating green, red, and blue filters, which allows for color images to be reproduced. When you're watching it, it kind of has chunky, colorful kind of grain that is different from what you're used to seeing with Super 8. So it does pale in comparison to just quality looking Super 8 film. But also this stuff is instant and for what it is, it is impressive. Take this shot of Renee in the colored shirt here. Yellow, blue, red, all these colors actually look really good. And this stuff's from 82. Polavision is never ever coming back. And I absolutely do not recommend spending a lot of money on like 34 year old cartridges. I think it's a really cool idea and a really interesting piece of Polaroid history. And at the time it was a failure, but in hindsight, if maybe it had come out like 10 years earlier, this might've been something really big. So a big, big thank you to Thomas for allowing me to have this cartridge because I'll probably never get to shoot something quite as cool as this ever again. <laughs> I can't believe that one worked either. It's like no. a cold storage recipe. Cold storage, yeah. Big thank you to Skillshare for sponsoring this video today. Skillshare is a massive online learning community that offers courses covering an absolutely insane variety of topics in order for you to learn, explore, and dive deeper 
into your own creativity. Whenever I'm working with film scans here on the channel of Super 8 and 16, I use DaVinci Resolve for my own color grading, a program that is incredible, but complex. Through courses on Skillshare like Adam Schraby's Color Grading Crash Course in DaVinci Resolve, these skills and programs become so much more accessible for you to use yourself. Skillshare has no ads and is always dropping hot, hot, hot new courses for you to check out. So honestly, instead of uh, wasting your time in film school like I did, check out Skillshare. The first 1,000 people to use the link in the description of this video will get a one month free trial of Skillshare Premium. Thank you so much for watching. I can't believe that worked. It's maybe one of the most impressive examples of uh, Polaroid technology that I've ever actually seen happen. Uh, and uh, check the information down in the description below for all the stuff. I've posted the whole thing as best that I can over on the Patreon, and uh, I'll see you all soon. Special thank you to Carson Fuller, David Pirinelli, Larry O, Taylor Brown, Amanda Ferrovold, Andrew, Baron Snyder, Benjamin MacArthur, Brian DeMartin, Carly Baker, Carta Manier, Chalian Christ, Charlie Acola, Chaz Alling, Chris Baltiera, Civilis, Dan Silvestri, Darren Martone, David Kelsey, Derek Konigsberg, Django Scarupa, Elizabeth Vizelli, Georgia Nas, Jermaine Saez, Juliana LaPedalina, Ian Farber, Ian Frank, Jeff Yoakum, Jeremy Lee Camp, Jeremy Jeremy McDonald, Jordan Wysong, Kevin Heinzelman, Mark Lentz, Matt Bacon, Nth Labyrinth, Olivia Orlando Perez, Paul Snow, Sarah Jeffrey, Scott Vansel, Thomas Wibley, Travis Tobin, and the Super 8 Skateboard Company.